Good morning, everybody. Hopefully you're having a wonderful day. Surviving the apocalypse. Welcome to my channel. And, or, it's early. The coffee's still kicking in. I was... I was informed by one of my bros, Lone Eagle, that CERN has been turned back on. For those of you who don't know what CERN is, it's a Hadron Collider where they're trying to... Oh, they're just... Well, what they say they're doing and what they're actually doing are two different fucking things. These people are evil. <sighs> Stephen Hawking, one of the most smartest human beings on the planet, warned them about starting that fucking thing back up. He said it was a bad idea not to do it. So they didn't listen to the smartest man on the planet. Okay. Forget that for a second. Why is a statue of Shiva, the goddess of death, at the CERN facility? I'll, I'll do one better. Why is there a video of a bunch of people in fucking black robes at night with torches surrounding a, a blonde chick who gets killed at, in a sacrifice fashion? There's, it's out there. There's a video. Oh, they, they cut, later on they said some people just showed up and it was a stunt and blah, blah, blah. And it was just employees having fun or some bullshit. That must not be a very secure facility if they can just have a bunch of assholes show up and just kill somebody. Oh, by the way, the whole idea of CERN is for the darkness to destroy the universe so it doesn't have to share it with the light. This is going to get complicated. Way back in the day, the Mayans, Toltecs, or whatever the fuck they were, they were doing blood sacrifices hard to their Quetzalcoatl or God, the fucking Lizard King, whatever, right? To appease the Lizard King, to bring on the, the time of the fucking darkness, which is what we've been living through, people, for the last fucking thousands of years. And did you notice how, the, how, how, we, how well it went for the Mayans? After they did all that blood sacrifice, they ended up getting wiped the fuck out. So they brought about their own demise. Their own destruction. Oh, by the way, they've actually discovered some new temples and new cities in South America. Just covered in jungle. Really badass stuff. So the shit we still don't know about, right? Okay. So here's what the Age of Aquarius is all about. The Age of Aquarius is an age of enlightenment. An age of love and light where evil has no place basically the world's been run by cunts for the last thousands of years and it's and it's there's a shift the balance has to be kept I've talked about that before so we have a balance that needs to be kept and the darkness doesn't want to share that balance it doesn't want to have to give back to light because it's a time of light the age of Aquarius is a time of peace not war we're going into a time of peace, and darkness doesn't want that. And I, here's the fun part. That's not fun. All the blood sacrifice that's been going on lately. I didn't understand it. I was like, what the fuck? And, and there was, and it, every one of these incidents was instigated. Like the Oslo um, gay nightclub killings in recent. The mass shootings at the school. They let that kid go through there and just kill all the kids and just wait to let him bleed out. And the truck full of people. These are all deaths. These are all painful. They are all sacrifice. These are sacrifices. Like I say, people, dying in a trailer of heat stroke by 50 people plus dying in a trailer all at once is not a normal fucking way for a human being to die. So that reverberates. And then bad guys understand that. And they want it to reverberate in the negative. They're trying to bring about the end of the fucking world. If you notice how everything they do is just doesn't make any sense, like logically. If you were owning a business and your business was the world, you would have already gone out of business because your business plan is just absolutely nonsensical. Nobody would even back you financially, but they're running the world. And I'm concerned about CERN because I did not realize it. And that as soon as they, I, as soon as I was hit to the CERN being turned on, it just clicked. Blood sacrifice. Like I said, there's a video of them actually, a bunch of assholes in robes, killing a young lady. Fucking stabbing her. 
some guy, some general was a janitor or somebody at night, fucking just in an upstairs fucking building, looking down, filming it, going, what the fuck are these people doing, right? Just filming it, filming it, and they're all gathering around. This is in CERN, Switzerland. And there's that big statue of Shiva. And they're gathering around the statue of Shiva. And there's this blonde chick, lay, and they're laying her out. And they fucking, and as soon as they stab her, the dude's like, what the fuck? He, he cuts away. Because he realized what the fuck is going on. He's like, what the fuck am I just witnesses, right? And it freaked the person out that was filming it. You get, as soon as they stabbed her, she's like, as soon as they fucking bring out the knife instead, he's like, what the fuck? You know, that's... Okay. So. Like I said, there's a spiritual war going on that me, most people don't know about. YouTube is a part of the spiritual war, and they're on the dark side. Like I said, my channel has been shit on from day one by YouTube. By algorithm, by employees... I got 600 plus videos and most of them are just about self-empowerment, self-love, believing in yourself, not taking shit from anybody, not being a victim, not being a slave. I'm getting no to one views after 600 videos. Any mathematician looks, just look at the numbers. Don't even watch my videos. Just literally from day one, go down the list to my very first video and you just go up the list and you'll see that I got no play. I'm getting no love from YouTube. Why? Why is my stuff not getting any love from YouTube? Why isn't YouTube not promoting self-love like I am? Telling people that they should empower themselves and be, not be fooled by the bullshit and the lies that are being told by the politicians and the ma mainstream media. Because they own YouTube. They own Google. A great example is CNN. If you go to Wikipedia and you type in CNN and it'll tell you. I don't even, I, I'm just going to verbatim because I don't even, I don't have to go to it. It's going to say, you know, the tr most trusted name in news, blah, blah, reliable. They're going to use words like reliable, you know, honest, fair. And then they go to someone like the Gateway Pundit, who is basically not a liberal. And they're not, and they called them far right, which was automatically makes them sound like a Nazi. Um, hoax, they use the word hoax. This is the Wikipedia talking about somebody's website. So whoever this Gateway Pundit guy is, this news organization, they're getting shit on by, by Wikipedia and, and Google from get-go. Can you imagine having a business and the first thing people see when they go to your business is a con artist, liar, thief. That's what they say about Gateway Pundit. It's like conspiracy theorists, hoaxes, and you know, it's like, oh my God, really? So they already own, they're already owning the information. That's what I tell people to get Encyclopedia Britannica from 85 because that, that was before they started fucking tampering with the shit. And I guarantee you the stuff that you're going to read in the Encyclopedia Britannica is different than the Wikipedia. Wikipedia is just bullshit. Oh, there's another great example of... I'm all over the place, isn't it? The four, they call it the fourth state. Basically, the fourth state is, the, is journalism, is reporters, is news. They're supposed to be separate, but they're not. They actually said the whole point of the fourth state was basically to keep the to to keep power in check. <laughs> Wikipedia changed the definition of the fourth state to where it was okay to to basically yeah it was okay to fucking basically be biased. I was like oh my god. So what have we learned today, children? That CERN is operational. That they're trying to destroy the world. That they're all evil fucking cunts. And like I said, blood sacrifice, that's what they needed. And that's and that's part of they fucking they needed the blood sacrifice for you to turn that bitch on. And we're not done yet. You had the war in Ukraine too. That's mass casualty right there. Just horror, strife, fear, generating a fear factory, right, right, right? I'm pissed. God's pissed. The universe is pissed. We're tired of this shit. We're going into the age of Aquarius. And these people are losing their fucking minds. And they're all evil. And they're all in control. So we gotta do something about it, people. I don't know. I'm just waiting for God and karma to just put the fucking hammer down on these assholes. You know, I'd love to just back and have my favorite beverage and snack and just enjoy the fall, right? Watch these assholes crumble. But they're still up. They're still running around causing fucking havoc. And YouTube's a part of it. This channel is just... Yeah, it's frustrating. It is. I've spent two years nurturing this fucking channel. And these pricks can sit there and go, Okay, 
That's not going to ever see the light of day. That video is not going to see the light of day. You notice how all my videos, a lot of them, especially the latest ones, after I got that first strike, I only get one view. One view. And then silence. There'll be a day. There'll be a reckoning for this. <clears throat> but this is for, you know, for my supporters. Thank you for still watching. You're eventually you're gonna it's gonna get and you'll see it and I hope you enjoy it to those bastards to my like I said to my haters I'm gonna have a good day you're not gonna stop me from smiling but it's just disheartening that I have to deal with this shit like I said can you imagine going to a company and then saying come on the next you know they're t they're you know all they do is advertise and hate about you it's like okay so what kind of company is that so you <clears throat> YouTube you suck, but I am Taurus and I'm an emperor. That means I don't quit. You will break before I do, baby. Hmm. And with that, for the rest of you, <laughs> I love you, God loves you, and the universe is an amazing place and they're crazy about you. Sashay jeans, baby. So sashay.